Welcome back. Today, I'm going to talk about the demo scene of the CMT FX asset component. To open the demo scene, click on the Nexus Innovation folder and then click on the CMT FX folder, then followed by the scenes folder. There are three demo scenes here, namely CFX underscore dialog, LCD, and UI. We are going to open the first demo scene, which is the CFX underscore LCD. Double click to open it. Right. Click on the game tab sheet. To run the demo scene, left click on the play button at the top. Here. Yeah. Right. Pay attention to the mouse movement. It is temporarily disabled at this stage. After the scene is completely loaded, you are able to interact the scene like this. Moving up, moving down, to the left, to the right. Left click to hide the mouse cursor. To bring back the mouse cursor, Press the escape key. Right. For the keyboard control, use the WASD keys. W is to move forward. S to move backward. A to move to the left. D e to move to the right. All the four panels are using the same identical CMT effect script to produce different type of effects that you are seeing now. Let's move to each of these effects to have a closer look. First, the Nostromo FX, which is this one. Right. The Nostromo FX is to simulate the console screen of the movie Elliot. It has the features such as what you are seeing now. First of all, the first line, it is supporting Unicode characters, underlining text, Lightning beam striking from the right to the left. Horizontally text scrolling from left to right or right to the left, vice versa. Take a closer look. There is a painting characters which I call it as a crypto characters, which preceding in yellow and white color before the actual messages are displayed. For example, this one, this yellow and white color, you may change the color as a wish. Of course, the Nostromo FX support printing text and uh, vertical scrolling as well. Next, the terminal FX. The terminal FX is to simulate the old days computer screen with features such as bringing cursor, pending cursor after each message is displayed, like this. Courage return and line feed, which move the cursor to the left move column. Of course, vertical screen and underlining text as well. Now the third FX will be the FX, DOS FX. The DOS FX is to simulate the uh, old days uh, MS DOS or DOS script. It is able to show you the effects of background highlighting in red and green, like what you are seeing now. And it utilizes the full S key to draw the box. For example, this purple color box. Okay. And the final FX is the billboard FX. Now, billboard FX is the actually the display panel that is attached to a 3D object. In this case, I have attached the display panel into the uh, kiosk machine. You can attach this display panel to a building or any signboard or any object that you can imagine. Right. This is a demo for the CFX underscore LCD. Let's open the second demo scene. Go to the scene folder and double click the CFX underscore dialog. 
Here we have three objects. The blue with the white color dialog box is the father. It is looking at the camera. The green with the purple color dialog box is the son. It is looking at the red color ball. And this red color ball is moving around in the 3D environment. Let's go to run this program and have a look. The green color sun is looking at the red color ball. And the blue father is looking at the camera. Here, the CMD FX asset can be used as a dialog communication function. To open the last demo scene, go to the scene folder and double click the CFX underscore UI. Click on the play button at the top. Right. We have completed the demo scene where CMD effects can be used as the LCD panels, dialog communication, and HUD or UI interface. I will see you in the next video.